what's going on guys in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to custom paint your playstation 5 shells now before we actually get started with this tutorial i just want to give you guys a quick update so i have officially announced my jmag merch and if you would notice you would go to my youtube channel you would see the new option that's at the top that says store if you click on that it'll show you all my merchandise that i have available at the moment and when you click on that it'll bring you to a website it's called teespring that's the service that i'm utilizing at the moment and you can purchase any of my merchandise there so I'm actually going to be utilizing my merchandise as ticket entries into winning my future custom PlayStation 5 controller mods that I will be doing in the future. So every dollar that you spend on my merchandise is essentially one ticket entry into each of my controller giveaways. So for example, if you buy a $30 t-shirt, that's going to give you 30 entries into winning this custom PlayStation 5 controller. So the reason why I'm doing this is because these controllers, they do get kind of expensive, especially when I'm putting this much work into them. And I kind of feel bad that, um, that I have to charge this amount of money for them. So I want to give you guys the opportunity to be able to win one while not being able to purchase them at full price. So if you'll see here, you could buy a t-shirt, you could even buy a sticker for just 10 bucks. Or the more you spend, the more entries you'll be able to win these. So uh, go ahead, give it a look. Let me know what you guys think. All right, so now that that's out of the way, let's go ahead and get going on this PlayStation 5 shell mod. So as you can see here, I'm taking some 1000 grit sandpaper. I'm just going to essentially just sand down the whole entire shell. Now you want to make sure that you do this pretty well because you want to ensure that the primer is going to bond securely to the plastic shell of the PlayStation 5. If you don't sand it down uh, enough, the primer isn't going to fully adhere to the PlayStation 5 shell. Now once you 100% sand it all down and you think it's all good, we can uh, give it a nice little wash. So all I do is just take some warm water with some dawn soap detergent put it in there and just wet it all and then you want to just wash it off with some regular tap water and then you'll be all fine and once you do that you just want to dry it off now i typically use um something like a, a towel you want to use something that won't allow some fibers to stick to the plastic because you want to make this as clean as possible and as dry as possible before we go ahead and start priming it so now we can go ahead and start priming so I'm using some Rust-Oleum uh, primer. It's just a regular white primer. And on each shell, all I did was just uh, two coats of primer. Uh, that's essentially all you need. You just want to keep doing it until your, your plastic shells look essentially dull. Once they're dull, that means you're ready to go and then you can start spray painting it with the main color that you want to do. And there you have it. So I have my PlayStation shell 100% primed and it's uh, ready to be covered. As you can see here, I just uh, masked the middle part off because I don't need to paint in there. I also put some blue masking tape on the outside of the PlayStation shell because I just want the inside to be red at the moment. And as you can see here, I'm using some high enamel red spray paint. So the high enamel spray paint is going to get hotter than the normal spray paint, which is why I'm using it. So you want to do the same thing with the primer. You just want to do a couple of coats until you think color is right. Now you don't want to do too much all at once or else you'll start experiencing some dripping on the on your shell and you don't want to do that because then it's not going to look any good so once i got a couple of coats on there i went ahead and got my spiderweb stencil and i put it on the outer lip and then i just used my black spray paint now i'm using a satin flat black spray paint as you can see here next i'm taking my miles morales logo and then i just essentially use the same red high enamel spray paint and sprayed over the black and that's how i did that in any case if you guys are wondering how i got the glossy part with the spider webs on the flat black i just used the high gloss spray paint black and here's the first look of when it's just about finished now i haven't clear coated it yet so this is the best clear coat that i found so far it's made by 2k max and i went ahead and got the clear matte finish because i thought it would give it a cooler look kind of like the miles morales suit because his is more of a matte finish it's not really glossy so the reason why i find that this is the best clear coat to get is because it's actually a two-part clear coat so at the top of the cap there's a kind of there's a red um button that you want to take off and you put it on the bottom of the spray can and you push it and it mixes the two chemicals together and that's going to really harden the clear coat and it's going to really protect your your masterpiece once you're finished with it and the same thing here so i went ahead and i did three clear coats on this you just want to do the first one kind of light and then the second one a little bit heavier and then the third one um you just want to just make sure you fill in all the areas that you think you missed and then you should be all set and then you have it so i have uh all the clear coat done on both shells i'm going to go ahead and let this dry overnight just to make sure that everything hardens 
and as you can see here these are some this is another project that i'm working on stay tuned for another video you'll be able to see all these playstation controllers finished and you'll see what i'm talking about so as you can see here i actually have another playstation 5 this is isn't actually mine it's my little brother's so he's actually a big fan of miles morales and i i uh stole his ps5 just for a little bit and i'm gonna swap out these panels and then hopefully when he wakes up in the morning he's gonna be surprised to to see his brand new fully customized playstation 5 so let me know what you guys think be sure to check out my merchandise um if you want to purchase something right now you can i'm going to have some new custom playstation 5 controllers finished pretty soon and one of those ps5 controllers is going to be the new giveaway controller and the only way to enter in is if you buy some of my merch and then each dollar that you spend on my merch is one ticket entry just wanted to clarify that for you guys and i just want to say thank you thank you for watching and if you guys have any questions on how to custom paint your playstation 5 shells feel free to uh, comment down below and i'll try to answer as many questions as i can i usually try to respond to everyone that i that i get and be sure to share all my videos with your friends family everyone your cats your dogs anything because uh we got to get to 20,000 subscribers so i could give away my other controller and i think we're at almost 18,000, and which is pretty amazing because in a period of a month i i got almost 1,000 subscribers so that just tells me right then and there that we can easily get to 20k and then eventually who knows once we hit 30k i'll give away my custom water cooled ps4 pro so thanks again <music>